here, bite. Let me uh, stop this alarm. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the Kangaroo Joey clogging the line downstream. Uh, these machines are very temperamental with a certain issue. As you can see, uh, this is a brand new bag. Um, there is no clog in the line. You can hit continue and it'll run for maybe another minute and then you'll get this error again. And this will just keep happening. So it's a real easy fix and I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So on the top, you're going to lift this up and I'm going to show you what the actual issue is. Um, I'm hoping it'll come up on camera. This is filled with uh, basically foam. So basically all you have to do is kind of tap it. You see how there's a bubble forming? You see all these little bubbles? Kind of like a, a syringe, you see? There's like foam stuck in here. So you can flick it a few times. Now, to prevent that from happening at all, what you can do is before you put your formula in, let it sit in the bottle for about a minute so there's no foam at all. Um, I'll, sh I'll try to show you. Try to show them right there. And hopefully I, I flicked it enough that it'll shoot that bubble through there. See, you see it? So once you get, there's, see there's no foam here and it actually passed through. You can see it going through. So basically all the machine is reading is that there's no fluid going past. Um, you may need to flick it a few times if you see, see how this bubble is just chilling here? So what you can do is press hold. And you want to flick it a couple more times. You can see it's like it'll form a bubble. So it's not actually a clog. It's just air stuck in there. So we'll hit continue uh, run. Now, I'm going to monitor it. Hopefully, yeah, basically, it's still foam. So, it's going to give me the error again. So, I'm going to pause until the error... Actually, it's starting to move. Until the error pops up. But basically, you want to get the air out of... This is the actual pump. This, this right here. And, uh... Let me see if there's any... hard to focus it still has a little bit of foam in there but I think I got it through because that bubble just moved down to see it so that's pretty much all you have to do you just wait for the foam and and if it does give you the error just flick this until it pops and it makes like a one big bubble that'll go through and that's it there's nothing wrong with the machine you don't need to send it back it's just you're being impatient with the uh, with the foam when you shake the bottle. And uh, I'll make sure to show you that it, it went all the way through and got done. All right, as you can see, it's been running for a while. No, no issue. And uh, I'll show you. What it looks like after you get the foam gone. You can see there's no bubbles at all. It's just straight liquid. And 
then a couple bubbles are fine but if you're having trouble you know like these bubbles I guess are not affecting it but the way I figured this out is if you if I detached it from the Mickey tube and I hit run it would pump into a bottle and still give me the air even with a brand new bag um, so that's when I started looking into all right it has to be something up here and then I noticed all the foam in the pump part here so and then there you go completely done this is the error you get when the, the tube is empty so I hope this helped you out and uh you know don't freak out it's it's not, the machine isn't broken um you just got to get that foam out of there so thanks for watching